Trudeau from Parliament Hill on the banks of the Ottawa River in Gatineau, Quebec. His one of Canada's coolest buildings, the recently rechristened Canadian Museum of History. If it's old and Canadian and not in the Senate, chances are it lives in here. This is Mark O'Neill, President and CEO of the Canadian Museum of History. Hello, Mark. How are you? Hi, Rick. How are you? Thank you for having me. There is nobody here right. today. Why is that? So this is our annual maintenance week. So mm -hmm. we close the museum just after the holiday period and take five full working days to do much needed maintenance. Uh, look after the artifacts, uh, look at the facilities, do inventory in our boutiques, so all that kind of So what we're saying is I don't have to pay any attention to like ropes or stanchions or signs that say do not touch. Well, I can do whatever. Go wherever. <laughs> not, not, not exactly. I can help out. Yeah, we can find a way for you to help out, Rick, that's for sure. I'm standing here in the Grand Hall with a grand lady, Emily Lynn. Hello, Emily, how are you? Hi, Rick, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. When was the last time these totems were cleaned? Uh, last year. Oh, really? January Filthy. last year. Yeah, so. Filthy, probably. Once a year. Hence the vacuum. Who are you going to call? Come on, Emily. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Did you feel that tilt? That's Christmas right there, see? I forgot the lemon pledge! Emily, do you have to clean every one of these? Uh, we have to clean every one on display in the Grand Hall mm -hmm. once a year. How many totem poles do you have? We have more than 100 totem poles in our collection. Mm -hmm. It's the world's largest indoor totem pole collection. Really? Although you haven't seen David Suzuki's love nest. <laughs> He's got a few. This is amazing. The closer you get, the more impressive the detail. It's the opposite of Parliament. Here is the Director of Research at the Canadian History Hall, Dr. David Morrison. Hello, Doctor. How are you? Hello, Rick. How are you? I am excellent. I'm thrilled to be here. This is very exciting. You're about to open a, a new permanent exhibit, correct? Next year, yes, we are. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming it takes a lot of work. It takes a, quite a, a large crew. We've been working on this for three years now. And That's what's exhibit. the theme? Canadian history. That's it. The whole thing. The whole tamale. I'm guessing there's a lot of people who have a lot to say about something like that. <clears throat> there are a lot are of people angry already, even before it's open. Not yet. But they will be. I expect so. There's almost that's, no way you can do this. That's the I, nature of history, isn't yeah, it? That's right. But we do try to show history from a number of different perspectives. Now, why is it so important when you're telling a story to tell it from so many different angles? What's really important, I think, is that we be historically accurate. Which you are. I know that because I saw the display on top of the box office. Welcome to our collections. Yeah. This is it. This is Canadian history. It's all right here. There it is. We're gloving up. We're gloving up. These are the real handcuffs. The no. The Louis Riel handcuffs, which you wore uh, well rested. We recently acquired what we're about 98% sure were the robes worn by the judge who sentenced him, a judge named Richardson. And in the end... He was a bugger, that one, because the jury asked for clemency, right? Mm -hmm. And the judge said, no, sirree, and sentenced him to death. Too sweet. There's a lot of evidence that uh, <laughs> you didn't just put his handcuffs in your pocket, did you? No. Oh, that's habit. That's just a habit. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. What's this, doctor? This is what we used to call a stubby. Yes. This is the handgun that presumably shot Thomas Darcy McGee. No! In the only no! The only this shot Thomas Darcy McGee? Well... And I have it in my hand? I'll give you the, the evidence. Only, this is why Canada is a great country, kids. Mm -hmm. Only one political assassination in our history. A man was found guilty and hanged on the basis of that handgun, which was found in his pocket. With one shot fired, it matched the, the caliber of the pistol that had shot McGee. <laughs> You smell history? I can. Yeah. We have what I think is the most important object the museum owns. Okay. It may not look like much. It's a little carving in wood, probably in driftwood. How old? It dates to about 1350 AD. It's made in an Inuit style. It was, this was carved by an Inuit person. Okay. Who must have seen a European and carved this. Why couldn't this be an Inuit person? Because of the style of the clothing. We have lots and lots of Inuit, little Inuit figurines like this. And they this. don't look like they this. They never look like this. So this is proof that an Inuits are European in the 1300s. Yep. This thing records an event that gives me the goosebumps to think of. 
This is the world's oldest hockey stick. No, this is the one that people are always this debating. Is the one. And how do they know it's a hockey stick and not just uh, like a, a, a thumping stick? Well, like going out thumping each other or something. Anne Murray's mouth guard. You know, I don't know what that is, frankly. <laughs> it fits. What is it? That's so weird. It was just sitting there? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Oh, it is yours. No wonder it Of course it's mine. You think I put stuff in my mouth? Well, I didn't know. I was horrified. It fits my mouth? I don't know. I grind my teeth, OK? I grind my teeth. All right. So this is Maurice the Rocket Richard's 500 gold stick, signed by him. It is. Now, this is part of the Maurice the Rocket Richard collection, which you guys have, correct? Correct. What else do you have in there? Is it, like, everything from his rec room? There are so many Habs fans out there who are going, you, Mercer, are not worthy. Get out of the frame. Jacques Plante's goalie mask. They were still custom made. He was the Because first. no one was wearing them. No one was wearing them. He was the first. Everybody thought, a lot of people thought he was a chicken, a cow. He was a wimp. A wimp. Real men don't wear masks. Real, real men are missing most of their front teeth. Oh, and their faces their were faces bashed were... in. Gump Worsley, right? That's right. Yeah. Little known fact, made entirely of toffee. That really is a part of Canadian history. Not nervous? Not nervous. OK, right now. hands away. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. It was a real thrill. The Thank Canadian Museum of History. Check it out.